Jim from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Okay, let's get going here. We're going to do um, a frame. Because if you want to make a mat, you're going to need a frame. And I'll tell you with this, you see the solid background? It's really not good to make a mat with this. Because if you go putting anything in here, you stand to lose some of your shapes. Alright, so I went in and I pulled up uh, just a regular shape out of the font or out of the shape library now you come over here to your arrows option then you click on to page you want that clicked then you click the middle one and the middle one and that centers that object on the page okay and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna click another one the second same exact box and you're gonna get your outline or your uh, edge is about as thick as you want them okay so if you want it a little bit thin make it thin come up here and click the same two buttons okay that looks good to me that's about as thick as I would like it um, highlight all of them come up to path back minus front and other than the undo button that is my next favorite button okay so there we go there's our little frame now we have the swirls which I just think they're beautiful um, so you can come in here and you can click on them drag them make them however big you want come up to object duplicate and let's do let's do five and five okay and they come up all over your screen just makes it so pretty all right and then you just kind of start putting them all over the place okay so this is what I ended up with um, after I put them all in there so now we're gonna highlight this we're gonna come up here and we're gonna click path union and we'll let that work for a little bit okay now as you can see that's the design I have come up here to preview and that's what it will cut absolutely beautiful only takes a couple of minutes to do and then you know if you don't like it if you want some more <clears throat> shapes in these spaces you can go in and add some more to it but that's how you use just use the shapes that are in your library to create beautiful mats um, and once again you can um, blow it up make it bigger make it smaller and then to save this we'll go through this again you go to export and then come over here oops that's not what I want the wrong button to your FCM and then name it swirl mat and then click save okay but while it's up if you want it let's say that you want to kind of tweak on it a little bit maybe more um, save it as an SVG or save it as a JPEG um, I prefer saving mine as an SVG so that later on if I want to make some changes to it I can bring it up because once you save it as an FCM in scale you can no longer bring it up in scale you can only bring it up in canvas and canvas has some fairly limited um, abilities to design as compared to scale so always save it as an SVG or JPEG and then save it as an FCM as well okay alright thanks a lot guys if you have any questions just ask